Freezing panes in Excel is an easy way to keep into view certain columns or certain rows while you're working or while you're analyzing your Excel workbook. Um, it's pretty easy to do this. You just click on View. And then in the window section, you're going to see a section called Freeze Panes. Okay, go ahead and click on that. And let's look at the last options first. If you go freeze on top row, it's going to automatically freeze your top row. And you can see there's a black line, meaning that this top line has been frozen. And you can see how it works. If you scroll down, then it's going to click keep that first row into view while you're looking at your other uh, data in your workbook. Okay, if you want to unfreeze your pane, just click on Freeze Panes again and click on Unfreeze Panes. Let's look at another option. Click on Freeze Panes and you can go to Freeze First Column. And it's going to free your first column. Once again, you can see you can scroll over and it's going to keep that first column in view. Let's go ahead and take that off. Unfreeze Panes. Now if you want to set custom panes that you want to be frozen or if you want to set multiple rows and columns to be frozen at the same time, you're going to have to do that manually. What you want to do is you want to click to the bottom of the row that you want frozen and to the right of the column that you want frozen. So if you want to freeze your top row and your first column, you'd click in B2. So underneath the row you want frozen and to the right of the column you want frozen. Make sure that cell is selected. Go to Freeze Panes and click on your first option, Freeze Panes. You can see you have your black lines and it froze your first row and your first column. You can scroll and see how that works. And to unfreeze your panes, click on Freeze Panes and Unfreeze Panes.